Welcome back to another episode of Victorious. This is, of course, the series centered around Michael Vick. Not the things he did off the field, but the things he's doing on the field. And this series might as well be named Bengal Can't Count because I can't. I knew this would be an issue. Numbers do not work well for me. I'm more of a words guy, except when you guys hear me having a stroke on camera every once in a while. Not exactly uh, great in that department, but I missed an upgrade in last episode. I missed one. So we have a free upgrade point, and I've taken your comments into account from episode one. Make sure if you have any criticisms, critiques, leave them down in the comment section below. You guys do not want um, to be able to upgrade tiers massively. You guys want it to be one at a time. So we have all silvers right now, and of course it goes gold, low elite, mid-tier elite, so 80 to 84, and then 85 to 89, and then 90 to 95, and then 96 plus. So those are the four elite tiers, if you will. And you guys want me to go individually. So the entire team must go to gold before we can make a blow elite. 80, 84. And then the entire team has to go 80 to 84 before we can make them 85 to 89. I think it's a good idea. We're going to start doing that. But I am going to use an extra upgrade point that I didn't spend in last episode because I can't count. And Doug Baldwin, Randy Moss, they're going to be grandfathered in. Because we already have them on the team. They've already played. There's no reason to take them out now. Well, I guess Doug Baldwin hasn't, but they're going to be grandfathered in. The rest of the team has to get gold first. So I'm thinking about changing the running back because winning is super important. Also, for the upgrades, we are going to take away points for interceptions. So if I get five points in an episode, but I throw two interceptions, that's going to be minus two points. So three points. If I don't win, if I don't score a touchdown with Michael Vick, if it's just a terrible game, I throw three interceptions and lose. That's negative three points. That would be downgrades. So that's going to be pretty hard for me to do. Um, and hopefully it doesn't ever come to that. But let's go ahead. Do I want to upgrade running back here? Keith Marshall is pretty good because he's very fast. And I'm not sure we're going to find other value. I might want to go something defensively because the cornerbacks, they're very bad. They're very bad. And we can go any gold here. So I think 75 to 79 is where we're going to want to live here. And um, Kevin King actually might not be a terrible option. 84 speed at 6'3". I think we found our new cornerback, number one. Here we go, Packers. Kevin King is going to run me. We could go Jair Alexander. He's got a better card in the game, which I have. 5'11", 86 speed. Way better zone coverage as well. He's just not 6'3". As you see, I have his 87, which we could eventually upgrade to. It's a good card. I think we're going to try out, even though Jair Alexander is better, we might use him later down the line. So I think what we're going to do is actually, we're going to buy Kevin King and throw him in the team. So it's going to be instead of Cornell Armstrong, we're going to bring in the change here. And welcome to the team, 76 overall, Kevin King. So now the rest of the team has to go gold before anybody else gets upgraded. Randy Moss and Doug Baldwin are going to be mainstays in the team for a while. That's a pretty big upgrade at cornerback. And uh, let's go ahead and get into a game. A lot of people are playing weekend league right now, so we might be facing worst competition in head-to-head -head seasons. That'd be awesome. Currently, we are, I believe, 2-0. and oh. Should be 2-0. and oh. Headed for, eventually, the playoffs. Headed for victory. And we should receive extra points for playoff wins or something like that. Let me know down in the comments section below. It's going to be easy at first, and it should be tougher across the length of the series, however long that may be. But let's go ahead and, and see what we can do. And that's our squad. Looks pretty good. He's got Carson Wentz, Jerry Rice, and powered up DeAndre Hopkins. And he's running chemistries. He might be a beast. We haven't got around to chems on this team yet. I'll probably just do that at my own, my own leisure if I decide to at all. Is he making subs right now just straight off the bat? Oh my god, I'm playing an absolute psycho. This is gonna this is gonna go pretty poorly. He's gonna wait the 30 seconds, by the way. I got nothing to do. Oh, motions and shit. This is game over. It really is. Blocking sets up pretty well. I ran right past that too. This is gonna be a really annoying game. Ah, that's good pressure though. Malik Jefferson up the gut. He's going deep. Got to make a play on that ball. Nice knockdown. Not even Kevin King. 
We're going to send someone after Carson Wentz. Oh my goodness. That's such a big hit stick. Can you please fumble? This cover too. Randy Moss might have this crushed. I'm going to throw this ball quick. Randy Moss dives. Drops it. Yeah, people have been talking about possession catch not being great. He sent some heat that time. I don't know why I feel like this guy is such a psycho, but he, he really just feels like he is. Now, I have some open things here. I'm just going to go to Doug Baldwin. We're going to spin to the outside. He's really, really trying to destroy me, but I'll take the first. Hopefully something gets wide here. I'm going to look for Derek Carrier down the middle of the field. He's going to... Is he going to drop the ball? He's going to drop the ball. Couldn't really get a, go a ton going with Michael Vick on offense. He was pretty good defensively. But that's the ball back. Malik Jefferson stays on his feet, and we are right back on offense with a little bit better field positioning, might I add. So I feel like my pass-only offense, of course, Michael Vick, I need points with him, uh, is getting a little bit too predictable, so I'm going to run the football a little bit. And, um, I mean, when they shed like that, my offensive line is pretty bad. I just can't go anywhere. I'm going to throw it as user. Randy Moss caught it, dropped it, caught it, and dropped that out of bounds again. That was great. Maybe I'll try a little bit of running with Michael Vick. We'll see if that's open. I'm going to throw that quickly, though. We got John Ross. He's out of bounds. That's great. I'm, I'm two for eight with Michael Vick, yet we have a couple of really bad drop passes. A couple of drop passes. I just like, all right, they'll drop those. And then that one out of bounds. I mean, that's a touchdown. That's, oh, man, we're up 3 nothing, but we're having a tough time on offense. Oh, that's mine! He caught that! Yo, you gotta be kidding me on that. I felt like I played that really, really well. He's, that's throwing right at Hardy. Intercepted. And he's running backwards. All right. We're back on offense, though. Defense has been locked down. Have I had anyone catch the ball so far? I don't know. And, and Michael Vick shut down. He's got a QB spy out there on his defensive line. He's got a... I think QB contain on as well, obviously. You're playing Michael Vick. You're going to QB contain. The QB spy is a bit annoying, but I'm going to try to deal with it. All right, here we go. Michael Vick, just give me a block. There we go, Derek Carrier. Michael Vick takes a pretty big hit, but it's 12 yards on the ground. So my trash offensive line is really starting to show here. And uh, I know I just tried to run there. His QB contain is really shutting me down every play on that. I can't really go anywhere. Dog, how is that open? He's going to kick the field goal before half. My completely dominant defense just really falls apart here. The Silvers are starting to show a little bit. And uh, he's going to squib kick it. No one touch it. That's not nobody. He fucking touched it. All right. No effort. There we go. We got John Ross. That was a dangerous throw. I didn't know what he would commit to as a user. But we got something going out of Gun Bunch here. Is Randy Moss going to burn him? Randy Moss burned. Michael Vick deep. Randy Moss caught it. Touchdown. Finally. That's what I need to do. I got 89 Randy Moss. Just throw the ball up. He'll go up and get it. That's one touchdown. That's one point. We might be over 100 yards throwing on the day, but uh, I'm not... I'm not sure that we are. Our passing has been very bad. That's got to be an interception. It is. Kendrell Donerson picks it off. That's what I'm talking about. I got Moss. Okay. That's not, that's not what you want, Michael Vick. Here, Doug Baldwin. Way to hold on. Michael Vick, absolutely over 100 yards now. And a passing touchdown. So that's two points. We're in a we're in an okay spot. Just got to score here. If we make it 17 to three, that that would pretty much be game over. I feel wide open. Derek Carrier first down. You know I haven't ever tried the read option this year, and I assume that that uh that read defensive end is gonna play the run really really hard. Is X is holding X not to hand the ball off? I sure thought it was. Do 
You gotta be kidding me. How does he catch that? Oh, and he dropped it on fourth down. Not great usury by me, but this is gonna be huge to end the game. Oh, we could have Kenny Bell here wide open on the screen. He is. Just give me a block. That is so bad. That is such bad blocking. Nobody blocked at all. One on one. Tipped up in the air. Intercept. Nope. All right, that's the game. It sucked. It was really bad. Uh, I wasn't good. I need to get better on offense. Michael Vick, one touchdown, no interception. So that's one point off the bat. We get a win. So that's two points. So we're up to three points right now. Rushing, Vick didn't really do much. Receiving, we threw for one passing touchdown. So that's another point. Um... So, so far for the 100 yards throwing, the touchdown, the win, four points. Um, hold on. Am I doing this right? <laughs> I'm sorry. So, passing yards, 100. We get one point. Touchdown, one point. Win, two points. So, we're four points. Yeah. All right. Yeah, four points for the for the episode. That's not terrible, I guess. So, we are 3-0. and And it does seem a little bit whatever to say i'm having trouble winning with this team of silvers essentially and i am but we are winning anyway um it's just the offensive line isn't really giving me the time that i'd like so that's where we're going to spend three upgrade or four upgrade points here at the end of the episode i'm gonna upgrade left tackle left guard center and right tackle probably just skipping out on right guard building a pass block focus team russell okung is going to help out mightily in that regard 81 pass block he's a pretty good left tackle overall he struggles a bit in defending um pass rushers in the run game and i know i said defending's weird it, it run blocking he's not so good pass blocking he's great that's what we need i'm looking for pass block oriented offensive lineman okung spends one point we're down to three next up i'm going to do right tackle you forget because uh, Michael Vick's a lefty. His blind side is from the right side. And I know that doesn't really matter as much when you're playing ultimate team and you can see what's going on and it's not, you know, whatever. Trent Brown is a good pass blocker. There we go. So we're going to go and pick up Trent Brown from the New England Patriots. He's going to cost me 3,200 coins. Not that that really matters, but great pass blocker. Great addition to the team. Zach Fulton's going to fit perfectly. The new Houston Texans signed in the offseason. And he is not a great run blocker, but boy, is he a good pass blocker. Really, really good pass blocker at that. And most of the guards in the NFL, at least translated into Mutt, are really run block oriented players. So Zach Fulton is kind of like a nice diamond in the rough there. So it's pretty awesome that every center in the game sucks. I'm going to go to the Rams. I'm going to pick up John Sullivan. He seems to be the least sucky of the sucky. So that's what we need there. Uh, and that will be our final upgrade point. That is four spent for the episode. And the team, I think, has certainly improved. We picked up Kevin King to start off the episode. And now across the offensive line, we could actually have guys that make a difference. As you can see, it's going to be a huge, huge boost. So I really, really would hope that we have a little bit more time in the pocket to let things develop. I think a better offensive line is really going to help us do that. So here is the new look team. We're up to a 73 overall. I think next I'm going to focus on tight end because that is a problem when Derek Carrier drops every pass I throw to him, essentially, in traffic at least. The team looks better. Again, 73 overall. We're really cooking. Defensively, we got a lot of work to do. Got a long way to go, but that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try to get better offensively. I think the offensive line is going to help that. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah.